Tales of the TikTok Tumblr by Carbidex. It all started with an innocent purchase. I bought one of those mood tumblers off a random TikTok ad. You know the ones. Fill them with a cold drink and they supposedly change color to reveal your mood. Absurd, right? But hey, we've all made weirder purchases at 3am. Plus, with its quirky design, I thought it'd be a conversation starter at work. Little did I know it was about to become my worst freaking nightmare. They won. First try, it turned a jolly shade of green. Calm and relaxed, the label said. Nailed it, considering I was watching reruns of The Office after a few glasses of wine. <laughs> Lol, right? Day five. I'm sipping my iced tea, and it shifts to a deep, brooding blue. Sad and contemplative. Spot on. I was re-watching that heartbreaking dog movie, after all. Those onions weren't going to chop themselves. By day 15, I started realizing this wasn't just a cheap trinket playing to the gullibility of millennials. Some days it turned a confusing swirl of colors, making me second-guess my very existence. Others, it was almost as if the tumbler knew me better than I knew myself. Maybe it's picking up vibes from the room, I jokingly suggested to my roommate, Kara, one evening. She laughed. Yeah, or it's that Chinese spyware everyone's so paranoid about, she retorted with her classic eye roll. Around day 30, things got weird. I poured in a cold brew and it turned jet black. That wasn't on the color chart. Scrawled on the cup in white, dripping lettering was... They're watching. I blinked. The message was gone. I shrugged it off. Maybe it was some twisted running joke from the manufacturers. Black humor for a black drink. They've got my number, I guess. A week later, as I was binging true crime videos, the Tumblr pulsed a sickly shade of yellow when the word run formed. I nearly spat out my drink. This wasn't amusing anymore. Great. Now my freaking Tumblr's got anxiety. I quipped, trying to lighten the mood. Kara, of course, laughed it off, suggesting maybe it was a glitch or some weird chemical reaction. Or, you know, a practical joke from the factory. Those Chinese manufacturers sure have a sense of humor. We chuckled, our cultural stereotypes taking the edge off. But I couldn't shake the unease. Late one night, I heard my bedroom door creak open. Paralyzed by fear, I peeked through my eyelids and saw the silhouette of a tall figure in the doorway. Next to my bed sat the tumbler, radiating a luminescent pink, a color I'd never seen before. I blinked and the figure was gone. The tumbler's pink faded to its regular inactive state. Jumping out of bed, I rushed to Kara's room, pounding on the door. No answer. Opening it, I found the room empty, the window wide open. I panicked, dialing her number. It rang and rang until her ringtone started to play from under the bed. The dang tumbler was there, swirling with a menacing red written on it in that same eerie font. Too late. The police found no sign of forced entry, and CCTV showed nothing unusual. Kara's disappearance remains a mystery. All I got were sympathetic glances and a recommendation for therapy, but I knew what I saw. I tossed the tumbler, but that didn't stop the nightmares. Every night I'd wake to see that shadowy figure, the luminescent tumbler illuminating the room with an ever-changing hue. Every morning, there'd be no evidence of its visit. The story spread, and of course, the internet did its thing. Tales of the TikTok Tumblr became an urban legend overnight. Some claimed it was cursed, while others theorized it was a portal to another dimension. In a cruel twist of irony, my tale became a trend. The next big creepypasta. Everyone wanted a piece of the cursed Tumblr. Well, 
until the disappearances began piling up. Only then did people start believing, even if just a little. The last time I saw the tumbler, it was a bright orange. The inscription. You're next. Of course, that could just be my anxiety speaking. Or maybe I was already gone. Now, I can't help but think somewhere out there. Kara's sipping from her tumbler. Watching. And waiting. And every time I see a new TikTok ad, I have to wonder. Is this the one that'll get me next? Hey guys, Ninja Gamer here, and thank you so much for watching today's story. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like on the videos. It does help the channel innumerably, and does get the gospel on a piece of sweets as well. So please consider subscribing as we are trying to 10,000 subs by the end of the year, and it would be a massive blessing for the world if you guys did so. Of course, if you haven't done so already, please read the million dollar questions on screen right now, pin comment description. Uh, it'll teach you about how to gain eternal life, how to go, how to go to heaven. It's the best thing ever, truly, and uh, who wouldn't want that? So, uh, of course, it'll teach you about repenting of your sins and trusting in the good Lord Jesus Christ as all you, with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, as well as building that relationship with the Lord by reading the Holy Bible daily, praying daily, and evangelizing to people. It's great stuff, so please do so. Of course! Um, as always, the mailing dollar question, as well as anything else I talk about at the end of these videos, is not associated with the author or the story in any way, shape, or form. Unless otherwise mentioned, it is for you, the viewer, to read, so please do so. Go give Carbon X some love in the description or in the, pin or in the comments comments uh his you or his reddit page and the original story link will be down there so go give him some love the amazing mew who makes all the amazing music that people are allowed to use in these videos as long as credit is given will be in the description the youtube his youtube channel and all the songs will be down there so go give him a listen i love him so much that i listen to his music in, the, in my free time did it today uh when i was out um getting some food it's great stuff so, yeah. I love you guys. Um, go give uh, my brothers have a YouTube channel, to Mac Plush Videos, where they upload plush videos and they uh, make some great content. They're uploading daily in 2024. And, uh, yeah. Um, I make quite a few cameos over there. So if you want to see me in something other than horror stories and uh, video games, go check it out. I recommend the 2021 videos. Those are some of my favorites. Of my youngest brother, Cole, has a YouTube, er, a, he wants to be a rapper, so I'm leaving a link to his YouTube channel and his SoundCloud for his music. The Cole is his name, so go check that out. It's great stuff. Um, yeah. The Barron County Anthology by Random Appalachian 468, as well as a former stalker texted me this morning, she's been dead for a year by Tier 1000, are linked to the description, the playlists. And if you're a fan of the Children of the Oak Walker story that I've been doing, I, I need to continue it soon, but, um... The Barron County Anthology is everything before that. And if you haven't caught up, I highly recommend you do so. So please do so. Please, please do so. It'll, it's going to be amazing. And those are some of my favorite ones that I've ever done on the channel. It's great stuff. As for streaming tonight, we're streaming. I guarantee we need to. Um, I need to stream tonight. So we, we, we will be streaming some good old Ghostwire Tokyo. And I'm also going to be uh, having Fortnite booted up, working on the final bits before the new season drops, which drops Friday. So, yeah, that's great stuff. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I will see you hopefully in the stream. Come by. Discord in the description. Join that. I'd love to talk to y'all guys over there. Uh, we have an awesome community that is growing all the time. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, this is Ninja Gamer. Sunning off.